The gas emitted from 3i Atlas appears unlike anything previously observed from any known comet, warns Professor Brian Cox. Both NASA and the European Space Agency have long documented comets releasing water vapor, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. But this newly discovered interstellar object, only the third ever identified, has broken all known patterns. Its spectral readings reveal eight times more carbon dioxide than water, nearly no carbon monoxide, and a burst of pure nickel vapor, something never recorded in any solar system comet. Not even in Oumuamua or Borisov, astronomers are baffled. If such chemistry cannot be classified as cometary, what kind of body could traverse interstellar space intact? This finding challenges fundamental assumptions about cosmic visitors and may redefine our understanding of how the solar system itself formed. Comets are often informally known as dirty snowballs, but in reality, their makeup is more intricate. At their core, they contain mixtures of ancient ice and dust left over from the solar system's creation. When these icy remnants draw near the sun, sunlight starts a transformation, the surface warms, and gases that have been frozen for eons are released in a process known as outgassing. This activity generates the glowing coma and tail that characterize a comet's brilliance. For decades, Scientists at NASA and ESA have used spectroscopy to analyze the ingredients within this luminous fog. Each molecule leaves a distinct spectral signature, much like a fingerprint. In nearly all cases, the spectral lines of water vapor dominate strongly. Typically, water represents the main constituent, with carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide present, but in smaller quantities. Observations of hundreds of comets within our solar system have confirmed this predictable trend. Water overwhelmingly leads, with carbon dioxide making up less than a third of its abundance. Generally, the CO2 to H2O ratio lies between 0.05 and 0.3, meaning water outnumbers it by at least 3 to 1. Carbon monoxide trails even further behind, sometimes comparable to carbon dioxide, other times scarcely visible. Data from the Rosetta spacecraft at Comet 67P supported this pattern torrents of water emitted from the core, followed by smaller quantities of other gases. Legendary comets like Hale-Bopp, Iokotake, and even interstellar Borisov have demonstrated similar chemical orders. Water rains, carbon dioxide follows, and carbon monoxide barely registers. This consistent fingerprint has defined what astronomers expect to see. While some comets deviate slightly, enriched in carbon monoxide, ammonia, or methane, the essence remains unchanged, water dominates, and the others support. That expectation shattered when the James Webb Space Telescope captured its first spectra of 3 I atlas. Contrary to norms, water was barely visible. Instead, the 4.3 micron emission from carbon dioxide glared across the spectrum, overshadowing the faint H2O signature. The data implied about 30 molecules of CO2 for every one of water. No known comet comes close, most feature at most one-third that ratio. Here, water plays a minor role, and CO2 leads entirely. Carbon monoxide, normally part of the trio, was nearly absent. With a CO to CO2 ratio around 0.2, far from expectations for such a bright, active object, observatory teams around the world, including SphereX, VLT, ALMA, and KEK confirmed the extraordinary numbers. This carbon dioxide wasn't loosely spread out. It clustered densely near the nucleus, forming a compact inner coma. Water vapor was faint, diffuse, and nearly lost in the background. Then came an even greater surprise, a distinctly metallic signature. High-resolution readings from the Very Large Telescope revealed strong emission lines from nickel atoms streaming off the coma, yet not a trace of iron appeared. In every comet previously studied, nickel and iron vaporized together in proportions identical to those found in meteorites and the sun. Here, nickel dominated entirely, elevating the nickel to iron ratio to 10 times the known maximum, a chemical impossibility under current models. Laboratory teams quickly ruled out technical errors, calibration, background noise, and data pipelines were all checked repeatedly. The anomaly remained genuine, the gases escaping from 3i Atlas are beyond precedent. 
defying decades of cometary science. If these compositions are representative of interstellar chemistry, then the cosmos contains materials stranger than we ever imagined. Even its trajectory confounded experts. Orbital prediction, normally straightforward mathematics combining mass, velocity, and solar gravity failed to match observations. Traditionally, whether from the Oort cloud or beyond the sun's reach, a comet's course can be plotted with extraordinary precision. But early orbit fits for three, I Atlas quickly unraveled. The object, entering at over 50 kilometers per second with an eccentricity above six, did not align precisely with modeled positions, hundreds of observations, carefully time-stamped and error-checked, produced residual discrepancies, small but persistent offsets. Each deviation of roughly half an arc second translated to hundreds of kilometers, far exceeding what could be dismissed as noise. The first suspects were the familiar culprits, jets of gas altering the trajectory. On 67P, for example, only 10% of the surface could produce measurable torque that altered its spin and path. However, for three Iatlas, even powerful CO2 jets, despite their abundance, failed to generate enough momentum to match the drift. Simulations repeatedly tested all possible outgassing configurations, yet none reproduced the observed shifts. The deviations lingered, changing slightly over time, but never disappearing. The standard framework of gravity plus outgassing seemed incomplete. For the first time since the advent of interstellar discoveries, astronomers confronted both a chemical and mechanical enigma that existing physics could not resolve. Physics itself now seemed to stand accused. Six years before the discovery of three I Atlas, astronomers caught their first genuine glimpse of an interstellar traveler. In October 2017, Telescopes around the world focused on a mysterious object that would later be called 1i slash Oumuamua. At first, it appeared as a cosmic anomaly without a glowing coma or tail, simply a rotating sliver of rock or ice. Yet as it moved away from the sun, something unexpected occurred. Its trajectory began to stray slightly from the path gravity alone would predict. The deviation was small but undeniable confirmed by numerous observatories and verified in scientific journals. Normally, a comet's course changes due to outgassing, plumes of vapor that act like miniature thrusters. But Umiwamiwa displayed no visible gas, no surrounding halo, no hint of venting at all. This sparked an immediate scientific uproar. Some experts proposed that invisible hydrogen ice could be a play, while others suggested entirely unfamiliar physics. Avi Loeb, a Harvard astrophysicist, advanced a radical theory, perhaps it was artificially made, an engineered solar sail or fragment of alien technology. Most astronomers dismissed that notion, but couldn't fully explain its behavior. What kind of object moves through space without showing clear signs of propulsion? Two years later, in 2019, came 2 i slash Borisov, the second confirmed interstellar object, unlike its predecessor. Borisov's signature matched the well-known chemistry of ordinary comets, water vapor, cyanide-bearing molecules, and carbon monoxide. Its coma and tail behaved predictably, and its orbital path followed gravitational models perfectly. This discovery reassured scientists that interstellar visitors weren't all anomalies. Borisov looked just like a typical comet, only one that had originated around another star system, now enters 3i Atlas complicating the pattern further. One visitor, Oumuamua, defied gravity with no evidence of gas release. The next, Borisov, adhered perfectly to known comet physics, and Atlas, brighter and more massive than either, presents both a chemical composition alien to anything we've seen and a trajectory that resists standard physics. Three interstellar visitors, three entirely different mysteries, if there is any connection among them, it lies in how each discovery expands the limits of what astronomers must consider possible. With every new arrival, the universe grows stranger and the search for understanding becomes more urgent. What other unseen wanderers might exist? Ready to upend our cosmic assumptions, many scientists begin with grounded hypotheses. Some suggest that 3i Atlas originates from a planetary system unlike anything near our own, one dominated by carbon dioxide rather than water. In such an environment, 
exotic ices could form in the bitter cold of a distant protoplanetary disk and endure ejection into interstellar space. If that's the case, Atlas's carbon dioxide-rich makeup could serve as a time capsule from a world where water never played a dominant role and where volatile carbon compounds shaped the planet-forming landscape. Other researchers look to more violent explanations. They propose that 3i Atlas might be the fragmented remains of a massive collision. Picture two icy bodies colliding in the frozen outskirts of their home system, pulverizing their crusts and laying bare subsurface layers rich in carbon dioxide. The debris from that catastrophic impact could have been launched into space and journeyed for millennia before passing through our solar neighborhood, carrying with it the chemical imprint of disaster from a faraway star system. The fragments ejected into space from such a collision could have carried rare chemical blends, organometallics, carbonates, or even nanoparticles of metal preserved by the long, cold darkness of interstellar drift. Laboratory teams have attempted to reproduce these spectral patterns by combining exotic silicates and complex carbon compounds under extreme cryogenic conditions. None have successfully matched the full spectrum, though partial similarities have kept the idea viable. Another hypothesis points to chemical alteration by cosmic radiation over millions of years in deep space. High energy particles and ultraviolet light can fundamentally reshape a comet's surface tearing molecular bonds, releasing gases, and transforming chemistry in ways scientists are only beginning to grasp. If 3i Atlas has survived eons of exposure to such interstellar bombardment, it might bear a crust enriched in volatile nickel compounds or other unusual materials. Explaining the nickel vapor without iron and the extraordinary carbon dioxide dominance, yet even the most advanced models fail to replicate the observed chemical ratios. Then there is the theory balanced at the edges of conventional science. Abby Loeb, never one to shy away from puzzles of the cosmos, has suggested that the emissions from 3i Atlas might have an artificial origin. The idea isn't pure science fiction. Umuamuo's unexplained acceleration once forced astronomers to consider whether it could be propelled by engineered means. In this case, the speculation follows that the outgassing might not be random but controlled, perhaps an intentional discharge of carbon dioxide generating thrust. NASA, addressing the claims, reiterated that while extraordinary hypotheses demand extraordinary proof, the current evidence only establishes an anomaly, not an artifact. Still, the discussion, whether natural or artificial, has captivated the public and the scientific community alike, igniting both fascination and urgency. Every proposal faces the same reality. No laboratory experiment on Earth has yet succeeded in replicating the material spewing from 3i Atlas. Each new measurement adds precision, but deepens the underlying mystery. If the phenomenon is natural, it represents a form of chemistry unseen in the known cosmos. If it is not, the implications extend far beyond any comet's icy surface. Following Professor Brian Cox's statements, the world's attention turns sharply toward the discovery. Online search trends for 3i Atlas skyrocketed by over a thousand percent in August alone, surpassing the peak interest once seen for Oumuamua. News agencies scrambled to secure expert interviews, while science podcasts and digital creators dissected the event in real time. Public hunger for clarity was immense. Petitions demanding increased government funding for interstellar research collected tens of thousands of signatures within weeks. Lawmakers began receiving inquiries about planetary defense initiatives and the potential for extraterrestrial technology. The European Space Agency's media division reported more outreach regarding Atlas than any mission since Rosetta's historic landing. Even late night shows aired segments exploring the possibility of interstellar visitors. Yet this fascination was not mere spectacle. To researchers, 3i Atlas represents a once-in-a-generation opportunity to test the boundaries of physics and planetary science. Astrobiologists view it as a messenger from another stellar cradle, carrying molecular clues about planet formation and possibly life elsewhere in the galaxy. If these gases are truly unique, our solar system may be just one of countless variant laboratories of creation. The implications transcend headlines. Every major observatory equipped with a spectrograph is now tracking the object, and the James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled for a follow-up observation near perihelion on October 30th. 
2025. Meanwhile, teams at MIT, Caltech, and the Max Planck Institute are working through the night, running low temperature vacuum experiments to reconstruct the gas chemistry. None have succeeded yet, but each inconclusive test adds pressure to solve the enigma. The mystery has become a unifying force for global science. Research networks buzz with conversation, from bold speculation to methodical scrutiny, all driven by one question, what vital detail are we missing? Even veteran astronomers confess to feeling a mix of admiration and unease. If a comet from beyond our solar system can upend every known rule of physics and chemistry, what other surprises wait beyond our reach? To the public, the story carries an emotional weight. The notion that matter from an alien system is sweeping through our region of space, leaving behind a composition we can't yet explain, stirs equal parts wonder, apprehension, and hope. It stands as a vivid reminder that the universe remains full of astonishments and that the most transformative discoveries are often those that challenge the very framework of what we believe to be true. Recent data show that the James Webb Space Telescope detected a carbon dioxide to water ratio near 8 to 1 in 3, I Atlas, an unprecedented value compared with any comet observed by NASA or the European Space Agency. Unlike 2I slash Borisov, which displayed a conventional mixture of gases, 3I Atlas emits strong nickel signatures without any trace of iron, violating every pattern established through decades of cometary study. Months of intensive analysis have yet to produce a satisfactory natural explanation for this chemical fingerprint. Its orbit also shows subtle, unexplained deviations reminiscent of the anomalies that accompanied Oumuamua back in 2017. As of October 2025, the evidence remains fragmentary, and the source of the anomaly continues to be debated in scholarly journals. The next observation window opens later this year with both space-based and ground observatories preparing to gather more data. Until then, 3I Atlas stands as evidence that not every interstellar traveler conforms to the rules, and each one that arrives forces humanity to question the limits of what we think we know about the universe.